What's up? What's up? Good evening, folks. How is it going? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to a little bit of Planet Nomads. No less. Hope everyone is very well. Let me switch over to the real deal. Uh -huh. Yes, back in Planet Nomads because there's been a big update this week. The 0.8 update, which adds a whole bunch of stuff. I have it open in the background here. Control the skies. And this is the most important part, what we're looking at right there. Basically, we can build flyers now. Flyers, hovercraft, there are monuments, there's a world map, there's actually quite a lot of cool stuff coming to this update. It is unfortunately nighttime where I am. I did load up the world earlier and sort of mess around a little bit and figure I might, yeah, just sort of make sure I don't make an ass of myself when we first get on here. Because I haven't played this game a little while, as you guys will know. And when they add in new stuff, this game's got some cool functionality to it. Some of you guys might remember this one as the one that's got build vision. That means you can just look at stuff and change their settings, which is pretty awesome. Uh, and I want to build a quadcopter, but I want to build a quadcopter that works. So I went through and I sort of had some attempts at trying to build a flyer just before we started. The first attempts were up here. In fact, technically this was the first attempt. You'll notice that this one is, is on its side. It's not, not a good sign. Uh, this was attempt two. This one is notable for the fact that if you get in it and move the things. I mean, they look really cool. It's given me some super cool ideas for uh, VTOLs I want to make in Space Engineers. What it noticeably doesn't do, though, is move. A distinct lack of any movement. Uh, and right now, that'll probably be because it's... No, it's not even on its leg. It's not even on its foot. Hey, guys in chats. Thanks for joining me. Good evening, good evening. Yeah, uh, it turns out that a bit like Space Engineers, Planet Nomads has that whole if you get a block too close to the ground thing, then it ends up in the ground and won't move. So that's what's happened with all of my early designs, I figured out, eventually. And having done so, put together this one over here. Just before the stream, and I was like, cool, that means I should just about be able to make a flyer this stream that isn't, yeah, it might fly. Now tell me, see if you guys can tell me what the problem is with this design. Because this one sort of works. Let's, uh, let's hold space, shall we? Oh. Okay. Uh, right. Um. <laughs> so, so technically, I do have a flying vehicle, but what this told me was that I'm going to have to do a little bit more um, thinking about how I design these things if I actually want it to work. I was expecting it to be very arcadey with how the whole physics of the thing worked. And in fact, it's kind of not. It's like, it's not as bad as you'd expect. Really not as bad as you'd expect, aside from the fact that the whole ship is, is upside down. So, on that note, let's bring her down to the ground and actually try building... So yeah, weight distribution and stuff like that is apparently a thing. I, will, I wasn't expecting it, but apparently that, that is most definitely a thing. And one of the things you'll notice is at the back of this thing, it's got a big reactor sitting on the back of it. Uh, and that's apparently like just not really what you should be doing. So, let's instead... First of all, turn these things off. They are noisy. It's quite a cool little system for um, controlling the blocks on whatever you're doing, on whatever grid you're building. And they added in an extra feature to it. So that build system's quite fun. But if you're dealing with lots and lots of changes at once, it's a bit of a pain in the arse having to go around them all. So one of the things they added in this patch is this puppy where you can go through and literally change all of the terminal control. It's a terminal, and you can change the controls on any of the blocks directly from there. But yes, it does It does fly, but I wanted to build something that was a bit cooler than that, maybe play around with the hovercrafts as well, and then go searching for monuments, because they put in, like, wrecks and monuments and stuff. We've got a, we've got a map. Look at that. Supposedly, the world is round, and I don't know where anything is. I don't even know where I am. There we go. That's where I am. I don't even know where any terrain is. Which is quite cool. And you've got sort of a list of monuments. I can teleport to them. That's a bit cheaty. That's a bit cheaty. Let's build something. So the way Planet Nomads works is it's got these sort of starter blocks like this. There's a jack and there's a hover jack. And they're used to begin any design. And I'm thinking if we're going to... And this is going to be... Yes, you guys are familiar with survival games where you've got a hold down jetpack where you've got to build. This might end up being a bit of a pain in the ass off this jack. I might drop it off the jack quite early on. But I want to build something that looks a bit like a sort of standard hovercraft, a standard hovercraft, standard quadcopter. 
is the idea. We've also got some new cockpits and the like. I'm actually going to start off with a cockpit on there. There's a three wide one. They've got a two wide cockpit in this game. Do you, can you believe that? Can you believe that? <laughs> my mum calls me Wasted Space. Exiting game again. Uh, that's half of where my name actually came from, as my physics teacher used to like to refer to me as uh, a waste of space. Normally when I was correcting him, he didn't like that. Yeah, this that's a bit a bit of an awkward system. You're right, AKA one. And if you guys have got any questions about the game while we go through, then I can sort of try and do my best to answer them. Can't promise I know everything, but it's worth worth asking some questions if it intrigues you at all, because the game is currently on sale. And if it does intrigue you, then that's not a bad time to be looking into it. But in my opinion, there are a few areas in which this game is sort of I wouldn't say flawed, but it's sort of in an interesting position in the market when you sort of stick it around Space Engineers and Empyrean. Because one thing you might see is we've got plant life and animal life about on this plant on this planet. Um, it's got a proper survival mode. You know, over there is some resources, for example, that I can see. I'm not playing survival mode because it takes ages. It's a proper grindy one. And last time I played, I couldn't even get like, enough blocks to really be able to do what I wanted. Now, what I'm wondering about here is how can I balance this side to side? I mean, I feel like I probably need to put another cockpit on the back there. These things also need power, which comes in the form of these huge, great uranium reactors. So somewhere on this design, I have to fit one of these things. Do we... Surely, there's a counterweight. It needs to be down the bottom, right? Why not make an octocopter? It'll probably end up being an octocopter, because I suspect I'll need that much to actually be able to lift. When will the game be released? Now, that I have no idea about. We're in uh, Alpha 0.8. So, read into that what you will. I doubt it's going to be console. I just can't see it. It is built in Unity, so in theory it can be moved over, but I can't see that really being a, a likely thing. My favourite class in school, uh, design technology. Because they used to let me play with... <laughs> Basically, everybody in design in DT used to mess around with woodworking because woodworking is pretty straightforward to do basic stuff without it being too really off, if you know what I mean. So you can pull off some reasonable things with woodworking just using like a sander, a saw, and that sort of idea. Uh, I enjoyed it because I was the annoying kid that insisted on playing around with all the metalworking tools. So I was the kid that was messing with the forge and the lathe and all of that sort of rubbish when, I mean, it blows your mind when you think about health and safety these days, because this was when I was, what, 14? And they're just like, yeah, here's a lathe. Don't get your tie cut in it, caught in it, please. <laughs> really? Is that it? For a lathe? Any idea how dangerous those damn things are? So, yeah, I want to get some symmetry to it, but these things are just horrible. Do I try and use it as a central column instead? Instead of what I've got there? And have this go up the middle? Because you can't attach to it either. It's a bit like Space Engineers in that only, only blocks have only got attachment points on some sides. And in this case, it looks like this thing... Actually, I know this thing. You've got no attachment points unless you use it to build up a frame around the damn thing. So technically, I could put it up the middle there. But I would have to build a frame around it. Oh, Ooh, doll. That was a mistake. Oh, interesting. No, it wasn't. It fell off. Sorry. What? Interesting. Did I not have all of those along the bottom there? Was that the problem? And then... Cockpit on. Am I right in saying it just fell off with that block attached? When I removed the top layer? So when I got rid of... Ugh, get my gun out of my hand. I don't want to look down my own chest, thank you. When I removed this block... No, okay, I'm just being useless. Who would have thought? Why is it being useless? Uh, they're too close together, so extend that one out by one. Put the reactors out to the side and mount them. No, I think we need the reactors down the bottom. I think if we don't pay attention a bit to um, 
the weighting of the craft and keep the center of mass really low with the rotors above it, it's not going to perform properly. I think that was the mistake I made last time. It's light off now. Was that, yeah, I, I hadn't kept that in mind. And because of that, it sort of didn't behave at all well. It, well, it flipped itself over, didn't it? So. so by having this as kind of the lower point of the bodywork, I think we might be able to avoid weird behavior in that sense. Did I just manage to place that half inside? I did. Um, okay then. I don't think you're supposed to be able to do that, no. But if you if you place it and then look over quick enough and click... God. Oh, I'm not going to be able to repeat it now, am I? It wasn't supposed to be there. <laughs> I'm not that good with game physics either. I've got no idea what the physics in this are like, really. That's part of the point with playing around today. It was sort of a question of, the patch was out, I was going to mess around with it, and I thought, you know what? Look at that, yeah, there's a lag. If you, you, you click and then move, you can get it to place in places where it shouldn't. Kind of cool. But yes, I did figure if I'm going to mess around and actually check out what has been added in this update, try and build some hovercraft and try and build some some flyers, why not kind of stream it? I mean, <laughs> nothing else. You get to watch me derp around and fail really hard. I'd be damn certain that I do this poorly the first few times. Ooh, I wonder if we could use conveyors for this instead. These things have got so that's a conveyor port on the side there. Don't like the fact that we don't have multiple uh, sort of bars we can switch through. You've only got this one bar, and you just got to keep going in and getting stuff out. And when you've got things like the connector sections taking up, what's that? Four blocks to get all the connectors out. Uh, I don't know. Needs an extra. Needs extra bars. I feel. Could do with a symmetry mode as well. But this game's so geared towards survival that it doesn't surprise me that it doesn't have that. But like even in creative mode, the batteries, for example, don't actually have any power in them unless you fuel them from a reactor. Yeah, it's the sort of creative mode as an afterthought kind of thing. You can call me stupid. Is the game worth it? I can't answer that yet. We're, we're, we're in early access. You can't answer whether a game is worth it in early access. It is certainly on sale at the moment, so if you're interested, then that's a benefit. But at the same time, I mean, it's also worth noting, most, most of the gameplay in this right now is survival. It's not what I'm doing here. Now, technically, they do have, in this menu, uh, we have, what is it, mobility? No. Utility. There's rotor blocks in this. Yeah, you've got hinges and rotating, rotating plates, and you combine those with hover stuff and so on. You can do some sort of basic programming. You've even got winches. I mean, winches, no less. Okay, so on top of here, we're going to want to split the puppy out a bit. Split the puppy out. What is he talking about? Utter garbage. Can we attach onto... The, oh, I can attach onto the front of those like that. Okay. Gets us up to the top. This is going to be a lot of jumping around trying to get at stuff. Ah, uh, Empyrean and its drone. All of, every time it just does seem to be an interesting way of doing things to avoid this sort of annoyance. That centre of mass, though. Well, we're going to put the stuff on top. Here's the thinking. It's still not going to be great, but... It's ah, the rotation for this, there we go. Rotation controls are okay, relatively intuitive. You can see it's sort of auto-switching in a way that the T in Space Engineers never really did properly. That thing always manages to annoy me, whereas this one doesn't. So, how do we bring these things out? I wanted to do a bit of a curved arm for it, but I'm not sure that's actually going to work. This is going to be a rather odd-looking ship, yes. I, I am not going to deny that. We have two-by-one ramps. Yay! I'm a slope long. What we were after? Yeah, I might, I might be able to recover it. It might not be the ugliest thing anyone has ever seen. You might be able to pull this back to just being pretty damn ugly.
Yes, it, it is almost a clan capable game out the box. God damn it. I wonder if wonder if maybe I should do something along the lines of build myself a little set of stairs to get up and help me with this. Surely we've got there we go. And it might look ugly as all hell, but in theory it should work. Indeed. You do get a nice um, amount of granular control over what things look like with the fact that there is no like large ship, small ship split. The blocks are just blocks. Uh, I believe there is even some blocks that are larger than these ones designed for placing down like bigger areas all at once, but... Okay, right. Uh... Sort of helps, sort of doesn't. <laughs> this is the correct building music for pretty much any circumstance. Then, okay, so I actually have to give it a base? That's annoying. That's really annoying. Come on. Yeah, it wants to have something to put itself on on the bottom. Or is it just collision? Okay, no, it's a collision. It's a collision mesh, okay. Everything's fine. God, and I'm also stuck. I'm falling through my own stairs. Am I crouching? I'm crouching. keep trying as well. I don't know if you guys have ever had this when you switch to another one of the sandbox games. I keep trying to use the wrong controls. I keep trying to use the controls from, from one of the other ones. Whichever one it might be, it seems to vary. Look, mister, we are trying to make ourselves the ugliest quadcopter in the world. And I'm thinking, in order to help me with this, I am going to... Or to help me make it slightly less ugly, I am going to try and whack some blocks on to make it a bit more... Yeah, that is the right spot. Like, kind of curve it down a bit. So that they... The arms wrap themselves around a little as we go. Maybe if I did one arm first, that would be more intelligent. Building off the side of a what? A nerd pole. So yeah, I want to get some little sloopy down arms, and then those are going to break out into more, more rotors, I think. Almost in, into the, uh, what do they, what do they, what do they even call those engines? They're like, what do you call these things? Air blades. There we go. How's Planet Nomads looking at the moment? Yeah. Not bad. Certainly approve of the fact that we can fly, and when you can fly, you get a much better look at the fact that it's actually quite a pretty game once you do so. So yeah, from there I'm thinking we put that on, and we add in maybe... bit like that and then from there we add in our little hover air engine thingy jobbies one on each side on each arm like that maybe it's puppies you in there and then make sure these things are the right way up that one is they've conveniently got arrows on the side of them yes it is going to look really quite stupid <laughs> screw it if it works it works 
Yeah, the game has certainly evolved a lot. I love what they've done with the world itself, the actual sort of surroundings and so on. Once we get flying, we'll be able to have a better look at that. But that side of things is really cool. One side of things that I think it needs work is sort of, well, in exactly what we're doing here is like, it's nice that there's more stuff to build, but just all you've got to do is look at the list of blocks in the menu here. So many of this is just like three different variants on a wheel. Admittedly, that is a mobile base wheel. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, and then you've got, if you consider a lot of these are just bits of wall and so on, there aren't that many blocks. Yeah, it's becoming more of an octocopter indeed. I could quadcopter in this design, but it is becoming a bit more of an octocopter. However, it's looking slightly less utterly ridiculous. So that's a positive thing. How far did I go? Like one, two, three on the bottom. And two so far. It's not so tall, but depending on the physics calculations, this should still mean that the center of lift is raised up. The whole craft is hanging from a point further up, so in theory, it would be less liable to do the horrible stuff that it did last time. In theory. In practice, we shall see. A bit like that, there, that, out, and then on go engines. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. Coming together, I might actually do a bit more block work with it later on, make it look a bit less ugly. Okay, here is where I can't repeat the same pattern. Oh, no, I can't. No, I can't, because I don't. This is in the way. Hmm. I'm going to go for a hover bike as well. I'm going to build a hover bike later. Oh, they actually, actually think hover bike design, sort of, but a flying one. There are, because there are hover vehicles in this now, too. As well, on top of um, your air blades, you've also got these puppies, hover pads, um, which, yeah, I have to play around with those as well. Okay, so this, I don't think I can do the same as I did on the other one, because these blocks, unlike Space Engineers, there's no half variant on it. You, can, you can't do only half of it. So I'm going to have to do something slightly different on the sides here. I wonder. I wonder a little whether or not we can simultaneously make this look less rubbish. Is it mistaken for Planet Explorers? Yes, not Planet Explorers. Planet Explorers, I don't know. That one never bit me because I couldn't work out what the hell it was you were supposed to be doing in it. <laughs> Just didn't have any other technological style. It was like, what, you, so you wander around primarily? Look at stuff? Uh, all right then, I'll say so. Yeah, survival tip. If it's got glowflies around it, you can get materials out of it. You can get goodies from it. Uh, just not in creative mode, apparently. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for the donation, Commissar Fox, Commissar Fox, who says, A wasted stream is the best background for knitting chainmail. All right then, mate. As you do, just a chainmail afternoon, is it? <laughs> Period of thought of the day. Seek honor as you act, and you will know. So how do I, what do I add onto the sides? Because actually, so far, this is suddenly looking like these side bits need to be something different. That's actually technically what you call it. It is knitting chainmail. That's how it's described, believe it or not. You can't wait to see me crash it. We've already got to that point, haven't we? <laughs> 
It's no fun crashing something if you didn't spend ages like on unnecessary details before testing it, and then found out when you did test it that you've designed it completely wrong, and now you have to go back to scratch. That's where the true fun in these games lies. Jolly, you know that. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Ink. Side wings somehow. I'm just trying to sort of envision what sort of shape they should have. Because as you say, keeping it narrower in that direction and moving them down a bit lower so you have them sort of more uh, that sort of height. But somehow I need to make it into a more wing-like shape before I put them on. Now, technically, you can also, if you want to, you can put them on like that. that that's okay. Hmm. Hmm. I will keep building. In fact, I will take a save before I rip. Another thing we could really do with in Planet Nomads. Oh my god, could we do with copy and paste? Or, or blueprints? Or some sort of system whereby if you mess up a design and it ends up on its back, like that one, you don't just have to start again. Which is currently how it works. Okay, okay, I see a bit of a bit of an idea coming to me here. We're gonna open up like that and then slightly dodgy rotation system that takes a little bit of getting used to. Sort of quick but also not somehow. I don't quite know how I'm supposed to justify that as a term, but sort of everything takes a bit longer than it should, but you know exactly where it is. Horizontal and vertical, you reckon? I don't think we can fit horizontal and vertical. Probably do a bit of a... Interesting, did it just forcibly correct which way around I had that? Yeah, it does. <laughs> okay, game will not allow you to do what I'm trying to do. Roger! That's not how you do it, mate. Ooh. Look at that dashboard of YouTube. Isn't that exciting? Yes, another problem with Planet Nomads, for whatever reason, is you can't capture it like a normal game. Whenever you try and add it into OBS or XSplit, it doesn't show up and you have to do a full display capture in order to be able to actually catch the thing. Uh, I probably won't want stairs on this, do I? Uh, there's no nukes yet, no. <laughs> I don't think there's very much in the way of weapons other than handheld ones. Am I just adding stuff now for no reason? Possibly. Should we just save it, see if it flies, and then I can go and greeble? Maybe that's a better idea. Okay, so we need a few extra things to make this fly. First of all, we need a terminal. And we need a switchboard. Now, the switchboard is one of the other changes they've made to this game recently, in that you used to be able to just hook power up to as many things as you liked. Didn't matter. Now, you have to be a bit more careful with how you arrange things, and you have to split things out. So, one generator can only connect up to a single thing at once until you give it a switchboard. And the idea is it makes the spaghetti that is what happens when you start connecting lots of wires together, like I'm just going to have to do here, more sort of understandable. She breathes. Okay, now let's get terminal. Where can we put the terminal that doesn't look shit? Maybe in front of me. Hey! Can I see it? Just about. That's actually quite cool. And I can open it from in the cockpit and it just gets me up. Right, that's less cool. 
Oh, also it's not on. It's not powered. Uh, yes, the quadcopter is pretty ugly, I'm not gonna lie. But that's the marvels of Greebling, is, is you start off with something ugly and then you add blocks until it looks a bit nice. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna want... This is gonna be... I might have to go around and do this per... Blade. Basically, this is the controls that are gonna... Okay, so you... That way. With you as well, so that we actually go forwards when we say forwards. That one's right, wrong. And then steering wise, need to be that way around. You guys, I don't think, should have steering. Shouldn't need steering on the middle. No steering on you, and then finally the inverse of the front, so you need to be reverted. Go! Or the back, I don't know which way around they are. <laughs> Bob has a, yes, I know Bob has a volume control, I completely forgot. I saw it in the comments, so thank you for that. Right, let's save this for when it crashes. Ugly copter. It's the ugly copter, everyone's favourite. Boris, Boris does not get to have a say in this. Okay, now then, the moment of truth. Fall! Oh, oh God. That doesn't look particularly good. I don't think it has the chops to actually get off the ground. Nope, it weighs too much. <laughs> so we so we are we are a ground-based aircraft for the time being. The steering's the right way around, well that's the right way around, but up not a direction she's willing to be be going at the moment. Okay then. Back to the drawing board. That's a bit disappointing, I have to say. But it needs more. All right, well, in which case, get rid of the side ones and double those up. Ugh. Not particularly fond of how it's moving around when I do that. Thrust vectoring indeed and stabilization. So on the way the thrusters actually work is super cool. Can I maybe get those on there and then <laughs> yeah. there goes my head there goes my head apparently uh, we're fine with that I don't think there's any power controls for them though no. When I, when I looked last, there was no power control. There was just steering and uh, turning stabilization off. So you, you can turn stabilize. Stabilization is what's constantly making them point towards the ground. You can get rid of that and set them up in such a way that actually what they do instead is, uh, right. So actually what they do instead is ignore which direction down is. Uh, don't talk, tip over, please. Thank you. Up. Up. You can't still not have the power to get you up. Do I have to make you out of rotors or something? Come on, up. Whoop. <laughs> Land boat, go. Just like SE. The thing is weight place six in the middle. So I need, because I, I, at the moment I still need even more apparently. I sort of hover but not go up. Or is that tree stopping me? He 
it sort of wants to, but also doesn't want to. I don't, I don't need to link them to the term uh, to the uh, the terminal. My steering is reversed as well. That's not very helpful. I suppose if I get into the other cockpit, it won't be. Okay, let's let's get you down to the ground, shall we? Yeah, that was a mistake. Now I can't get off the ground. Oh well, more thrust. The arrows indicate the direction of thrust, indeed. What weighs so much? Probably the uranium reactor. Uh, so let's go and have a look at the terminal. So yeah, these are the controls you get. You've got turn off, you've got disconnect, you've got change direction, you've got set opposite steering, you've got set to grounded. Now notice that's what's going to do when we click on it. So if we click on it, it'll turn one off. Uh, and then you've got stabilization. There are no power controls. Ugly copter two. Ugly two. The arrows are throwing thrust, showing thrust direction. Uh, I can demonstrate that with this one. Uh, ooh, I should think about that. Armor doesn't weigh that much, so no, because the thrusters have got to be the right way around. Otherwise, pressing space and control would be backwards, surely, and they're not. All right, I'm going to try simply adding more thrust to begin with and see if that... Because that on its own could be enough to just highlight, hey, if it's got more thrust and now it works, then that could well be it, right? Can we summon vehicles by pushing the vehicle down instead of upwards? All right, let's do a double check. That's right. These are all correct. That's all correct. That is all correct. Ugly 2, Uranium Boogaloo. <laughs> nice. <gasps> oh dear. Alright, so... For the sake of removing power as a potential concern, we shall add even more. Channel of Villa Jeremy Clarkson. More power. She rises slowly as all hell, but she does rise. <laughs> How have I managed to need this many thrusters? I, I don't understand. This ship is basically made of thrusters and a reactor in order to power the thrusters. That is pretty stupid. Yeah, it's not it's not the wrong way around, otherwise I, I would have no I wouldn't be able to do anything. The first vehicle flipped up and down because of where the thrust was located. That's why this one's so stable in the air in comparison. You see, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to get up over those trees. <laughs> not unless I give it like half an hour in order to climb. Yeah, perhaps greebling your, your quadcopter is a bad plan. Perhaps there's a reason why they make quadcopters as thin and skinny as possible. Like a feeling of a 1920s blimp, yeah, I suppose. Cockpit weight? I suppose. Possibly. How much is there's no way of telling. I don't think you can find out how much the ugly copter weighs. There's no feet there's no stats for that. Surely there's room for at least one more engine on the ugly copter. No, uh, the big rip power options are... We have... So people are asking about power options for this now. Energy is pretty straightforward. You've got bio generators. You've got uranium generators. You've got batteries that don't produce any power on their own. And you've got a switchboard. That's it. The terminal might have weight, I suppose. Yeah, let's have a look. No, there's no weight in the terminal either. Nope. 
quadecacopter. <laughs> uh, I just want to fly. Let me fly. Where can I add more? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take off that. Ooh, it doesn't like this very much. And my answer when something in a game doesn't like when I do something is to do it more. Is there not a block there? Is there a block there? What's happening? What is Planet Nomads? The game you're looking at. Survival sandbox, very much uh, more of a vein, I would say, of Empyrean than. Uh, wow, why are you rotating around such weird axes? There we go. So it does have a bit of the Space Engineers. If you're not looking directly at the block, it'll rotate around the axis a bit weird. So now it's got a back end. <laughs> Hopefully a back end that I can add even more thrust to. Not load down enough or what? Being very finicky about letting me put this down. There is the only place it wants me to place it for some reason. Oh, that block's not thick enough. I see. Zeta Copter. What on earth? How many is Zeta? I don't even know. Yeah, we'll just throw that block over there. That's the answer. Get rid of that one. That was the, that was the one causing all of our issues, really. Okay, so technically this should eliminate cockpit weight as a thing. If armor blocks are that heavy, then dull. But can I now fit a couple more? Two more? Four more would be lovely, but answer that is clearly no. That's where I want them. Why is there not allowed? But there is. I am very confused by that for the thrust, but surely that one's in the hitbox, or is this far enough, wide enough out that it avoids it? Okay, let's get you there, and you there. Okay, she's lively. It's too much armor block. It's the armor blocks on their own. Wow, really? Okay, so you're going to need to build these things as light as you can manage. I suppose that, that does make sense, but I just wasn't expecting it. In which case... Let's do some weight adjustment. Uh, these, I think, are potentially a bit silly because of how low down they are. So let's ditch those entirely. And oop, not my gun. Not even a gun, is it? It's a multi-tool. bits off.
getting a bit lighter. Okay, this end cockpit does not need a silly surround. I will keep. What button is it that keeps switching my blue and getting my melter tool out? I'll keep that front end on with the terminal block because why not? Where else am I going to put it? And then you, we can ditch that block. And then, whoop, not that one. That one, that one, and that one. And now it's raining, yeah. If this was survival mode, I'd be getting cold and complaining and so on. The survival mode in this, at times it is really quite annoying. What it could constantly hassles you for. Okay. I mean, that's a lot of weight reduction in comparison to when we first tried to take off. And la dee da up she goes. So it's weight. It's 100% weight. Wow. That was another thing added in the 0.8 patch was um, sort of weather systems. So you can get quite extreme weather apparently now. She flies! Why change the power cores rotation from vertical to horizontal? Isn't that vertical? Why not? Uh, that would work. We could sort of trim the entire craft down. But for now, we're flying and I want to go and visit, like, an location. Just find some things! I also, yeah, I really want to make some SE thrusters that work like these. Look at that gimbling. That's just cool. Just cool, right. Not the fastest of aircraft. Hmm. What we might be able to help ourselves with here. Can we slow down a bit, please? If I get out, am I going to fall? No? Ooh, that's quite nice. It's intelligent enough to not drop me out of the sky when I do so. Okay, so, let's give you direction, make sure this is, alright, so up at the back. Those ones can't be directional, apparently. Yeah, only the ones on the sides here can be directional. More speed. This one down here is the only one left, right? Yeah, cool. Have you ever played KSP? Yes. Yep, played quite a lot of KSP. Used to um, stream it back in the day. One of the early streaming games. We haven't got any lights on it. We faster now, we like the wind. It's quite a lot faster, to be fair. I like how um, apparently we don't lose any downwards thrust when doing that. I don't think that's actually how it works, but sure. Right, what's this waypoint we're going towards? I don't even know. Ooh, that feels fairly legit. Nice cockpit. Trying to know the dials work. Does anyone know of any game where the blooming dials work in the cockpit? Like any of these sandbox games where they actually do it? So after all of that, it goes 46 kilometers an hour. 46. Wonderful. And it's dark now. Even better. Okay. What is this thing that I am approaching? Marked with, with an icon. Must be a thing, right? Like right down there. Oh, hello. It's some sort of structure. Dars work in No Man's Sky and the 3.0 PTU. Okay, not 
really sandbox games. I suppose No Man's Sky kind of got there in the end. Okay, so what on earth have we just found? We found an abandoned little basey thing. How wonderful. What am I supposed to do with it? Got some connection points, and it's off built. Well, look at that for a thing. Well, let's now perhaps try the other one. So, I'm gonna need you, gonna need power, gonna need hover pads. Put some lights on this one, I guess. I suppose. Well, you need remarkably few bits to actually put a ship together. I get you out. Right. That's it, I think. And a cockpit. I found a survivor site. Oh, ah, okay. He doesn't look like he's surviving. He looks like things went quite badly for him, if I'm honest. How high can we go? I don't know. I have no idea. Where did... Random block on the floor. Absolutely no clue. Okay, so what you can do, I suppose, to skip some of the rigmarole of, like, I built that one, would be just to go... Uh, ding. And then... So these things, the way up they go, yeah, the curvy bit needs to point down. Pointing down, can't tell. And then only other bits you need are your switch box, your terminal, and some lights. Technically. We'll see whether it actually works. Make the bottom line out of batteries and then go up from there. In my experience, batteries don't work in creative mode because you have nothing to put in them. I was trying it earlier and I couldn't get them to actually produce any power. Your mothership crashes and all the sites are from survivors from the ship, but they all die. So everyone, everyone, who, everyone but you failed. Uh, okay, it's gone up, but now it won't go back down again. And it is slowly drifting forwards. Well then. <laughs> I should probably help if I turn steering and stuff on. Uh, steering direction that way. Uh, no steering for you in the middle, thank you. How do I like this game compared to SE? Not comparable yet. There's so much more this game needs to develop on. I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I enjoy the game, but but there's just so much more in most of the sandboxes, because Planet Nomads, honestly, has had a bit of a rough life. Uh, the sort of developers have had a, a pretty hard time bringing this thing to sort of a release state, uh, or even a state where they can launch it into alpha like this. Is everything limited to that same sort of top speed? Because this is going the same speed as well. Did they have hovercrafts in this game? What do you think, Mika? <laughs> Everything is fine. 
Nothing to worry about. We're all fine here. No idea what the point of this game is? Well, it's a survival game as, as it, at its core. Um, but right now, it sort of needs more stuff to do as you're surviving, things to visit on, which is part of what they've been trying to add with this update. So there are... As you can see, wildlife around. Some of it can actually be aggressive. If we were to load up survival mode, then you'd see some pretty aggressive and horrible wildlife. Um, but for the most part, it's just stay alive against the elements. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, little unicorn thing. Didn't mean it. How does Nomad's run in comparison to SE? Pretty well. Not perfectly. There doesn't seem to be an in-game FPS counter, so I can't give you an idea of exactly how well it's running. Maybe I can figure out a way of doing this. Unity surely got an inbuilt command to bring up FPS. No, there's no block damage. Okay, so let's, um, because this thing's a little front heavy at the moment. Marsh. Just add a few blocks on the back. We dock ships? Not yet. Not that I not that I'm aware of. Hybrid hovercopter? I don't know. This handle's kind of fun. I don't feel that involved with having built it. I have to admit, but it handles fun enough. There's, there is a Steam FPS counter, that is true. Uh, da, 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 settings. In game. Oh. So, current FPS on a. Ooh, that is worse than I was expecting. Ooh, that's not good. Current FPS on a 5820K running at 4.5 gigahertz with 32 gigs of RAM and an overclocked 1080 Ti is 32, and I'm running at 1080. Ooh. That's... Uh, that's not great. I think Clang and Nomad do court each other occasionally. They're not quite as full-on friends as they are in Space Engineers, but... Along those lines. Right, well, there's only one thing I can think of left to do, which is to get out that winch and get out that winch attachment thing. Put the winch on... Uh, not the winch, the attachment point on the front of you. Put the winch on the back of you. Uh, activate the winch. Attach it to... You. Righty, then. Home we go. I wish you could zoom out in this view. Come. Come, friend. No. The rope is just going to stretch. I don't think that's how winches are supposed to work. Is there any way of getting this thing to constantly hover? Hover. Yes, I can. <laughs> it's going to flip itself over if I don't do this carefully. Should really be using the terminal. Hover pad. Uh, which one is it? Yes. No, that does feel like about right, to be honest. No power to the winch. Good point. Good point. Uh, where's me? Don't mind me, I'll just stand on this rotor blade. This rotor blade. Yeah! Right, let's go. <laughs> let's go, everything's fine, no problems. Nope, forwards. Forwards. I'm not, I'm not taking this from you, we're moving. Come on. 
You're coming up. Oh, it broke it. It broke it. That's not cool. Righty then. Try that again. You. On there. Uh, don't pull it in. No, 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 no. I want to... How do I detach that? There we go. You, get back a bit. You... Oh! I've literally built a hook on the back of my helicopter. I reckon about there could be good. Getting this thing to actually stop rather than just hover randomly is going to be hard, but okay. You... Oh, it's gone. Did it break? I didn't know they could break. Stop moving. Stop being... No. Stop being a pain. Let's get you... Just to stay there for me. I know you're going to move a little bit, but come on now. E. Click. Go. I have a feeling, because when I've tried, I've, I've actually tried this before, but with ground vehicles, that your two options are stretchy rope or pulling in rope. And there is no just pull things around rope so much. Come with me, friend. No. Well, then the only option here is to just go miles away and then turn the winch on and see what happens. <laughs> I'm in Britain in game. Am I? Doesn't look like Britain. I don't remember us having that many red trees. Replace hook with another winch. It is pulling it towards us. It is coming. It's not very well. Okay, now I just need to get out and turn the winch on without falling off my ship. This is going to go great. You ready? Save game. Plan comes to PN. Save. Now then. And go. Nope. Fight it. Fight it with all your might! Fight it! Fight it, goddamn you! It's... it's not working. <laughs> oh god. This is not going to end well. It's just going to pull me to the ground, isn't it? No! <gasps> We got off the ground for a bit. Right, we need to upgrade the quadcopter. The quadcopter needs more power. Quadcopter needs an upgrade. Like, right now. Oh, dear. Probably find some flat ground to land on. Now then, you just stay there for me for a second, friend, while we give you some more power. Hmm. So, how do we go about this? Part of me is thinking we remove these ones and we build carrier extensions out the side. In fact, that is what we're going to do. And fall over. Boing, boing, boing. 
Oh, you know how in Space Engineers, every time you get out of a vehicle, it turns your dampers off, and it's kind of annoying. Well, in Planet Nomads, every time you get out of a vehicle, it puts you in third-person mode, and it's kind of annoying. What about? The core copter does need a bit of a redesign in reality. You're probably right there, but part of me is inclined to not do that and just soldier on into the stupid design. Yes, it is the clocks on the boat, but let's be clear. I, I have a goal here, and that is to find out whether I can pick up that vehicle over there with the winch. The quickest route that will get me to that goal is the one I am taking. Uh, okay, this is going to be a bit dangerous. One side's longer than the other one. Whoops. <laughs> okay, let's fix that quickly before we go any further, shall we? There we go, perfect. Now then, connection up. Thunderbar. Oh, I forgot to do the ones at the front and the back. Oh, that was what you were talking about. Okay, I didn't realise. Okay, so let's also therefore get you at there. Let's give you direction. Which direction are we doing? Is that one? And you can have direction as well. Rest of these can't. But. Not symmetrical. They're all next to each other. What have I done on this side? Oh, they're not symmetrical. What am I missing here? have turbines that aren't on. No. No, no, they're all on. This chat just trolling me now. On, on. Many ons. So much on. Yes, chat is trolling me. I see. I see how it is. She is a lot more lively. Now then, if we're going to do this more sensibly. From underneath, she looks a lot more like a quadcopter as well. It's a shame I didn't just repeat those arms on all four sides like I was originally intending. Then it might not have looked so stupid. But, clearly the correct place for a winch for this sort of purpose is on the bottom. Uh, I'm getting confused by the chat delay as well. That doesn't help, does it? Uh. Last one. You connect.
Power to the winch. Okay. Does that not have... No, it's just off, isn't it? It does have power, it just doesn't have... Yeah, it's got electricity, it's just not actually turned on. Roger. So then... Now I just need to work out where the winch points ended up on this end. Oh, it's actually on the top. That's convenient. Well then. Well then. Bang. You are not even prepared for this, little beast. I'm large enough that my <laughs> left-hand side is stuck on the ground a bit. But never fear, never mind that. That's not a big deal. Okay. Jump out here. And we attach our friend on the bottom. Who... I don't know, actually. Can we place the thrusters on to have the top, bottom, face, forward and back? I don't know. It's not something I've tried. Okay, the winch does not want to attach at that angle. We need to get our friend over here into a more sensible position. Sensible. Nothing about this is sensible, let's be clear. But... Any predictions? <laughs> Come on then, chat. What's going to happen? What is the result of this particular madness? Same outcome. Oh, how boring. so far. Okay, let's get ourselves up a bit. So then we've got a bit of time to react. And then jump out and Ooh, the winch is on the bottom now. That's going to make things a little bit more tricky to activate and then get back in again, but... Sure. Up! 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 Ah, I've got you now, friend! Oh. Maybe if I turn the hovers off? I like how it automatically drops you on whatever piece of land is closest to your cockpit, and if there isn't one, it drops you on top of it. Okay. So, if I turn, like, the hovers on this off, does that help at all? I like it's going to help at all, because I don't think it can. some reason. Yeah, there we go. Because I wonder if the hovers are actually sort of messing around with the rotation once we're in the air, making it jiggle. Oh, you can do winch from panel. Ah, oh, okay, cool. Stop putting me into third person mode. Add more winches. You reckon?
Okay, let's try that. So we got one, two, three, and four on the bottom. And then on the top. Uh, let me stay up here. Yes, I know it's in a silly place. Just let me stay up here. Right, so can I get at the power? Can I get out of my face, blades of doom? Connect. Damn it, one of them's in the wrong place. Yeah, just one more winch, that's the answer. That's the answer. Well, in theory, if you were going to have a helicopter winch, this is what you'd be trying to do. Four points of contact at least. Well, not at least, but four points of contact, nice and secure. Okay, so back. Should we do this? Do you to there? Get in, actually, but okay. Mm. It's gone very medieval engineers y all of a sudden. Let's untangle them lots. <laughs> Well, <sighs> Mez, yes, Clang. Well, Clang might not be the overlord, but he's certainly present. Thank you very much for the donation. <laughs> but cer certainly here, here with a vengeance. So let's just go and try and line ourselves up a bit better. Okay, that's not too bad. I'll do for a first test. Okay, not the data pad. What's the keybind for it? This is a bad idea. No, no, it's not. You guys were saying I could activate this from within the menu. I can't remember what the keybind is when you're inside to actually get in. To open that menu up. And it's not in the controller. Look at that. In here, vehicles. Nope. That's quite old. Doesn't look like that anymore. I think if I keep going, the line will keep coming out. Let's find out. Up. Oh. Game doesn't take long to load, we can always reload the save with them attack, so. Yeah, it does look like they just keep coming out. <clears throat> He's from burst, burst, burst. No, I don't think you can. No way in here of doing that. I seem to remember there used to be more controls in there. Okay. How on earth am I going to activate these winches sensibly? I'm going to be trying to jetpack fly while doing so. Uh. 
Uh, first person control panel. Yeah, that. Yeah, there is no first person control. I, I, I cannot find anything in here to open up a menu other than this one, which isn't the one. Look at terminal from first person. Yeah, but if I do that, it gets me out of the cockpit. But. Okay, can you do multiple at once? I don't think you can. Yeah, I know. In front of the cockpit, you press E and it gets you out and doesn't open it. <laughs> Alright, I, I thought for a second I was being really stupid, but no, it, I think they've changed something or that's not actually how it works because that's not working for me. Yeah, I know, that's what I was doing. The terminal is in front of me. It's just there. That's where the terminal is, look. That's the terminal there. That's why it says open when I look over it. It's the terminal. Doesn't say open anywhere else. Yep. I don't think you can keybind things either. Alright, nothing else for it than just to do them all on as quickly as possible and hope it works. Wish me luck. Three, two, one. She's coming. She's getting a bit tied tight up, but she's coming. Oh no, two of them are broken. We're down to one tether, and the tether's gone. The tethers are too weak. What on earth is this helicopter doing? Okay. Oh. Oh. Hey, in a positive note, it landed the wrong way up this time. Yeah, I don't know now. More winches. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's because it's upside down. I think it's because it swings around so hard. Just loading in has broken one of the winches in this save. To know. No, this no is no longer a helicopter. It's not even close to a helicopter. I don't know what you want to call it, but it's a thing. Oh, I've got an idea. Yeah, that's a thought. That's a thought. Why don't we get the winches pulled in first into a position where it's stable and then try driving? Yeah, not bad. Not bad thinking, my friend. I like it. Let's try and get her like here, perhaps. Get the last winch attached. I like your thinking. Let's give that a try. Kind of wanted to get the terminal, actually. They're not even in order now. That didn't work. Okay, so let's now, let's get this thing into a position where I can... Oh, this has got a terminal on it as well, hasn't it? Bomber pad on. I 
That's everyone, right? That's all of them on. Cool. Get this thing out of this corner where it's really awkward to deal with. Somewhere flat. The Collider Copter. Nice. That, that, that works on so many levels. It's great. That's perfect. <laughs> oh, the Collider Copter is awesome. Uh. Okay, not ideal. Fun, but not ideal. Also, the steering on this thing is backwards. Which always helps. Right, you, friend. There, and then can you... Can we just get your terminal and switch you to not hover? But Okay, now then. On you, we're going to want some good winching points. Let's build us some good winching points. And one of the winch points, and then see if she'll fly with. Which way round the winch point is matters. It's getting the same way round just for safety's sake, eh? <clears throat> that didn't work, no sir, that was a clang intervention. <laughs> if you say so, Miz. I don't think, well, that's got to be slightly scary if you're getting, in, your clang comes to intervene in your behaviour. Surely it should be the other way around. If anyone's getting an intervention, it should be clang. How are you going to do a hover cycle if you need that massive reactor? Um, I think you can get away with batteries, but you need to build a base to power them. You need to be able to recharge the batteries via something. So you need to be able to build a connector to hook the whole thing up, basically. Right, where are you hiding, little hover vehicle? I see you. You're right, Chris, what's up here? We are trying to invoke a clang in Planet Nomads because I enjoy doing that sort of thing. Doesn't seem to want to come to a complete stop, but that should be about as close as we... Oh! Oh, they're still on, aren't they? Okay, then. I suspect that this... Who knows? Let it not be said that I did not give it my fullest. I wouldn't do a planet, planet nomads versus um, space engineers versus Galact Empyrean because, in reality, firstly that would be unfair because none of those games are in the same state as far as completion is concerned. But partly because, in reality, they all exist in slightly different areas. Like, Planet Nomad seems to be sort of the... The not... Oh, why is that one still on? Or is that because that one's not... No, that's got to still be on. Yeah, Planet Nomad seems to be sort of the middle ground between the two. It's got... It's an Imperian-style survival with lots of that sort of stuff going for it. But at the same time, it's going to have, as you can see, a bit more of what I'd call this the Space Engineers-style physics to it. Admittedly, it's not real physics as such, but it's an interpretation of that's working realistically enough. No connection. Yeah, that's the other problem with Planet Nomads, is it does feel like it's sort of, it's got a good first step, but it's a lot earlier than the other two. A lot earlier. Let's make a hoop and hook out of blocks. We'll do that if we can't find any other answers, Hellraps. How about that? Wires too. I want to be able to do it with the, the soft body physics, because soft body physics is cool. But at this point, it doesn't seem particularly like it wants me to. Yeah, the, the 
chopper keeps fighting it. That's the problem. There we go. So if I bring the chopper down so that it's actually in a position where it's not trying to fight, can I now get the other ones on? Looks like with, maybe with two points we might be able to do it. Those two points there are close enough. That I don't think they'll freak out. Yeah, we might want to actually have the winches perfectly matching. Go with that. It says two of the winches are on. Before I do that, I'm just going to try taking off. Two of those winches are currently on. Oh, and then it just bounces like an idiot. No. I don't think... I don't think this is going to play ball. I got I got two more two more things to try with this. We got to take these off and put the winch points in at the correct locations. Which I think is going to be back over the top, shall we? Not quite. The went no went no, wenches. <laughs> That's what you said as well, isn't it? That's why I'm the the winches have no strength settings or anything like that. No. Okay, so there's a three block gap. I see. So we want. One there, and then these are going to be too far back, I think. How many blocks have we got in between? One, two, three, four. One, oh, two, three. So that's where they should be. Let's also move the ones at the back to get the centre, the mass, as central as possible. Let me up. So, ditch those ones, put... There, there. Four blocks in between. Perfect. Uh, you off. Attach. There. You. There. You are on as well. Off. Go there. And then finally, you to the there. Right, so this should be perfect positioning as far as matching the winches on the bottom of the vehicle to what's on that. They're exactly the right distance apart. This is, this is as friendly a scenario as we are going to be able to get for this lift. See if I can try and get the helicopter as close to being in the right spot as possible. Have I just I've just broken one of them landing like that. This yes. Bouncy physics. Well, there's nothing more for it, is there? More blocks does mean more weight, but I think we've got the weight to to spare here. I think we're all right in that respect. Let's blow something up. I 
Okay, the winches are technically all on now, which is interesting. And then I move, and it does the bouncy thing, and... All right, enough winches. Enough winches. These things are clearly designed for one purpose, and that purpose is to get your vehicle out of being upside down with another vehicle. So, yeah, some very bouncy physics going on here. You won't get the impression it's not going to like this. <laughs> Sometimes you get out and your jetpack's jammed on as well. That's a fun one. It's already not liking it. I don't care. You're gonna you're gonna deal with it. We are gonna pick this damn thing up in this stream, whether you like it or not. That is what is happening. person hatred that's the sort of bug that i guess it must be it can't be intentional to switch you back to that point of view but that's the sort of thing that will slow you slowly drive you bananas when playing well then silly thing now what are you gonna do you are the stuck Dark. Officially. Now come up. That's not physics. There we go. That's physics. Yay! Home we go! Huzzah! We're up. Victory! I don't think the grids have joined. They're in a funny place, but they've kind of stuck together, haven't they? They've sort of landing geared themselves in place. So even when I drop, they're kind of frozen there. What unholy contraption is this monstrosity? Uh, it, it's, what do we call it? <laughs> the Kaleidocopter. <laughs> Barrel roll? You don't have roll controls. Oh, uh, all right then. What a happy place we find ourselves. Well, I could. I could just take this back to base and return with our hovercraft and say, well, that's a fun ending to the stream, but I got a better idea. 
Rise, my beauty, rise. Is this maximum altitude? I think we might be at maximum altitude. It won't go up anymore. Hmm. That can't be right. We're lower than that hill over there. Anyway, where's our base? We're coming up to our base soon, aren't we? Is there damage to blocks? We're about to find out. Because I wanted to go as high up as possible and then drop this thing and see what happens. I don't think there's block damage, no. Click the grounded option. Treetop level is the limit for now. Okay, good to know. It's been very helpful having you in the stream, Mr. Staff Sergeant Dolls. Thank you very much for all your info, mate. All your info during this. There appears to be, if I'm not mistaken, a tree over to our right that is most definitely flying as well. There's no ground underneath that tree. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll check a monument out to finish up, Stephen House. Well, I can teleport to those, so we can just go and have a look, rather than having to wait for me to fly over. This is where my collection of crap is left, isn't it? Yes. Well then, the only thing left for this is to ensure that we are getting sort of vaguely accurate physics calculations here by ensuring that we can let this thing slip out the front and see if we can get it to do it. Come on. Out you come. I am a bit suspicious of that. See, if I make and put another block down on it, does that... Oh, I'll come out down here now. If I put a block down on you... Hmm, yeah, it's no longer jiggling around and acting all weird. Hey, don't fall out, Wester. So what about that bit that I've just cut off that's just, like, sitting on the side there? This bit. That's not held on by anything. Can I shift that? Oh, no. Oh, it's loose. It's loose. She's loose. Come on. Come on. Get out. God, that moon's moving quickly in the background there. Come on. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, fine. We'll help you a little bit more. Out! Out! I have had enough of you! Let's get rid of you! Oh, hang on. Now it's not behaving the same anymore. Oh, there it is. It's sort of lifting up. How does... me removing some blocks make it more stable? That makes no sense. There's some funniness going on here. There's some, like, some physics hacks, I think. Because only sometimes is that actually responding to physics. And the rest of the time it's just sitting there, like, faking it by the looks of things. It seems to sort of start responding if I add some... Whoa! Hello. That's woken it back up again. There we go. Come on. Come on. You, no way you can cling on there now. Come on. You're kidding me, right? Get out. You can't do a flip. It won't let you. Oh. 
Well, technically it will. If I was to say, oh yeah, let's we'll, we'll switch you to hover. Because we're on grounded at the moment, aren't we? Yeah, okay. Bink, 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 bink. Bink. See if that helps. Because the other thing I can do is turn stabilization off on my... Alright, that's it. I'm doing it. Righty then, now we can do some acrobatics with you. First things first. Oh yeah, boy. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Mistakes were made here. It's fine, I've got this. I've got this, everything's okay. Well, that was anticlimactic. Just banged it on the floor. And now off it goes. <laughs> it actually flies with the stabilization turned off. And that means we can do some loops. Right? No, I could only do loops with it attached. Oh well. Over this direction, in a short distance, is an exclamation mark. And I believe the exclamation marks... I believe they're the monuments. Let's see if 500 meters off, um, I am correct. Down we go. Doesn't fly very well with the stabilization turned off, I have to. Will it float in water? I don't know. Yeah, it is a monument. Look there. Dead ahead. We can go visit monument and then we can drown ourselves. So the monuments, I believe, is sort of a hint to the fact that there's going to be a, a lot more of a story to this, but it's not there yet. This is the sort of first iterations, first things they're putting in to kind of hint towards it. Not actually visited one of these, so why not? Yeah, you just, um, you just stay there. I think that's an ideal spot. I suppose I shouldn't really expect much when you've got two unnecessary feet on the bottom of you. I could turn build vision off, but I actually quite like it. I don't like how the helicopter looks with it. <laughs> it. Makes it look more or less utterly ridiculous. Okay, so what is get in? Um Okay. I'm in. Now what? press space and it brings this up um yeah what it does is you press space and it brings this up maybe it gives me more locations i haven't got revealed yet that one there seemed to be grayed out in a different color Yes. Best attachment ever. Thank you, I assume the count. I, th I was fairly proud. 
Winch the monument. I don't think we can pull it over. Nah, I'm not, I'm not thinking that that's going to let us pull it over. I'm also not thinking it's going to let us attach anything to it. I wouldn't. Future teleporter. Oh, that might be interesting. Maybe this is how we can... Oh, hello. It's got... Now I can see that there's power to each one of these things. Infinity fuel. So maybe, yeah, you can... Yeah, you can use these things to teleport to other ones. Okay, cool. Well, let's go and visit lava, shall we? Pew! We can always teleport back, right? Wow, that makes my PC make a loud noise. <laughs> I wish I could interact with chat on YouTube properly. But by the time I figured something out, you guys are still spamming it away in chat, going, Oh, there's a big teleport button! Come on, waste it! And I can understand your frustration. Do not get me wrong. I just wish you could help a bit more. If you guys come and watch me over on Twitch, on Mondays and Fridays, delay there is a lot less. I can actually talk to people. So this is lava. If I had a blueprint or I could copy and paste, I would uh, have a little drive around. But there you go. Lava. Big desert. Planets and planet nomads are quite big. Planets and Imperium? Daily. Okay, well that's lava. Uh, where should we go then? I think we were we were like temperate tundra, weren't we, or something like that? Ooh, look. Your eyes and what on earth are you? An alien wreck? In the prairie? How far away? 1.6k. It's actually quite a long distance. I didn't specifically mean you, IoT and Count, but yeah. I kind of figured. Wow, you do not travel very quickly. Admittedly, a lot of my momentum is being used to go up, I'm aware. But... Only one thing for it. Super speed hovercraft. Need cockpit. No need for a winch on this one, I don't think. Cockpit, reactor on the back. You on there, add in our side bits. Put it. And then you. You. set things up fairly quick in this, but it is a bit weird that it doesn't automatically, because it's supposed to be able to tell which way the cockpit is facing from uh, which way the vehicle's facing, from with the direction the cockpit's facing, and then it doesn't automatically set that stuff up for you, which I think is a little on the odd side, but hey. Go! We want to visit an alien wreck. Distress signal detected. Oh, we definitely want to visit an alien wreck then. Oh, shit.
Um. Now what? Ah, damn it. You can't look far enough down to do that. Could have built myself a wider platform, in retrospect. Why not? Oh, this is the wrong way up. Why? Putting heli blades on one side would flip it over as well, that's a better point. But now I need to use winches as the solution for everything. That's the thing. If you can't fix it with a winch, you can't fix it at all. Legit. Might have been better off just using wheels, potentially, but wheels aren't the new hotness. I have no idea why I think this might actually fix things. Is that steering the right way around? Yes. Steering is the right way around. Right. Everything is fine. The witch is still attached. That surprises me. This hasn't actually worked. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's do it the other way. Which means that we just take one side off and put hover engines on it, which freaks the physics out and makes it split around. Or will do as soon as they're powered. No. So, why has this ship got two switchboards? No connections left, it is a switchboard. Or am I not hitting it right from that side? Now, yeah, evidently, wasn't getting it correctly from that side. Can I make a vehicle hammock suspended by winches? Probably, but... What on earth? Can you just stop that and stop putting me in third person, which makes me do weird things?
Okay, exit that. Now. Why? Yeah, why was that not appearing when I... I was doing this and it wasn't actually showing me which direction it was going. Really weird. Has this attached itself to the ground? And what are you doing? I think this thing might have attached itself to the ground, you know? Aha! We have found the culprit. Now the problem being that I need to get it over onto its side like that and then have it stay there. Which it's not going to do because when I get out it flattens itself back up again. Oh, I can turn gyros uh, stabilization off, can't I? That'll, that'll do it. Third person can go away. Enough. Also, if I turned it to ground it, then I should do it on its own, right? No, because as soon as you start using them, they go back to not being grounded. Ah, yay! Right. How to make a meal out of this. you even the right way up? I don't think you are, are you? put one there so that it doesn't tip over forwards next time. And then set the forwards. Just do front steering. I don't actually need to do the rest, do I? Terminal to turn everything on to hover mode again. How are you? It's in the ground, isn't it? Ugh. Those blades are actually in the ground. Just don't let me paste them if they're going to be in the ground. Yeah, that, that back one there was the, was in the ground. But let's try putting the blades actually a bit higher up, as you guys are suggesting. That should help with the gravity of it as well. Keep the mass down. Not five. That one. ignore the front. I mean, unless... Is that going to end up in the ground? At least we know that if it is in... If the thing refuses to take off, we know which one's the culprit. Disconnect, connect. Hmm. 
Okay, that should be all right. And then steering for you. Let me guess, front one stuck in the ground. Yep. There we go. Now I just need to set the damn thing to hover, or is it not got enough engines to do that? Oh. Hey! Now it's hovering. Can I put the one back on the front without it freaking out? Asymmetrical sides? Not this time. Guilty of in the past, but this time, no. Can I get a bat, please? Go on. And then set you to hover as well. No, you were already on hover. Yeah, can't put that front one on without putting the... It, it's actually... Oh, honest. Wrong... I mean, thing. Can't put it on without attaching the whole vehicle into the ground anyway, so screw it. And it won't drive forwards without pinning itself into the ground either. They are all on hold, right? They are all on. God damn it. Hey! Right, we're off to see the aliens. Which has somehow got further away during that. Or is it more am I travelling the wrong way now? That's the right way I'm travelling the wrong way. Roger. I can suddenly see the attraction of why you won't want a helicopter instead. I don't think there's such thing as a hybrid of the helicopter in these designs. I can't think why, but hey, we're moving and she's flying a bit more sensibly now. Holy hell, you've cracked 4,000 hours on SE. That is, that is impressive. Whoa, he's a blue creepy beast. There's multiple blue creepy beasts. Get run over, blue creepy beasts. There's some interesting looking materials and stuff around here. Those are just some weird animals. I like the design of those. If nothing else, I can't say I've seen anything that looks like that before little bit disturbing. It's a bit like someone cut the head off a chicken and then gave it four legs. Left it wandering around. It actually doesn't look too bad now, somehow. Again, with a bit of greebling, I imagine it could come out alright. It's not a very good vehicle. It's slow, but... Bugs! Bugs ho! <laughs> okay, so uh, what I wasn't aware was we were going on a little bit of a desert sightseeing trip in order to visit the natives. Sweet!
Okay, you guys play a lot of SE. <laughs> More than me. Yeah, we're getting there. Train's not really hover terrain. I really should have just... In the time we took, I could have built myself a simple helicopter and just done this. But hey. Came here expecting good gameplay. Well, you should know better, to be honest. By now, you should really know better. The only thing about this entire sort of design session that we've had here that I actually like, obviously I've been a bit enjoying messing around with the game and finding out what's possible and so on, is the, the process of attaching that uranium reactor onto the back like that to give it, like, I think that looks quite cool from behind. I think I might keep that. Otherwise, I think I might go back to the drawing board with pretty much every design and try and make something decent. <laughs> no, the reason it's staying so close to the ground is because it's a hovercraft. You cannot change the height of these things. They will hover at the height they want to. Uh, that's the difference between these and, say, a flyer. Tree! No tree. Oh, God. Come on, let me get up. Yes, if I'd got out and changed the uh, rotation for the front bits, it would have probably worked better, wouldn't it? But those extra ones I added, I could have used for steering, as was suggested in chat. But hey... Wanted to get moving, God damn it! Look, 475 metres out. You might even be able to see it soon. I have no idea what I'm looking for. It's an alien wreck. That sounds cool to me. A bit drifty. A little bit drifty. Another distress signal detected. Yeah, there's two types of engines. They look very similar, but one of them's a gimbaled, gimbaled in two directions and is the, the flyer thruster. And these are only gimbaled in one direction. Oh no, these are gimbaled in two as well. What am I talking about? They're just smaller um, and don't look so cool because they don't have a rotating blade in the middle as well. On Webby Tree. 300 meters. I can see it. It's a big ball. A big ball of hatred up on the side. Is it the Borg? Shit. Maybe it's the Borg. That would be bad. Borg sphere landed. There's a lot of people in distress around here. Yeah. That thing looks cool. Hopefully I can get to it without crashing my hovercraft too badly. Ish. It's like you have to design these things as boats because they get so close to the ground that they end up kind of catching on it as well. It also means, I guess, that you, there's a sort of minimum height or maximum height you can build a hover vehicle. Because if, if you get these things too far off the ground, do they still work? If you get them too far off the ground, like, surely it just scrapes along the ground the whole time. In which case, you can never build a hover vehicle taller than, say, a bit taller than this. Otherwise, the center of mass is so whack that you can never use it. It's space balls. Uh huh. We have located a bow and some flickering ground, yes. All right, so what are you all about then? Really? Come now. Can't just be a stone. Do you do anything? Uh. Huh? No. Well. Just go inside, wasted. Go inside. There isn't an inside. How do I go inside? It's a bowl. Dig underneath it. 
Got anything hidden under here? A bit of texture they weren't expecting you to see. Seems to be all that's hidden under here. It does look a bit like an entrance, doesn't it? But yeah, no going inside. You want to bet if I cut all the rock away from underneath it, it just floats there as well. I'm a bad man. It's just what well, he finds the thing in a game, and the very first thought is, okay, can I now check whether or not this game is is faking it? Are you faking it, game? Ah, fake. Fake sighted. You learned the Greek word for early access. The Gek word for early access. Oh, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> oh, nice. Can I roll it downhill? Evidently not. Does it need power? I don't think I can build on it. No, I can't build on it. So, no. It's just a thing. Well. I guess 500 metres from the distress signal. Maybe that'll be a bit more exciting. Let's go take a quick look. This thing steers like a dog. Yeah, it's like the monuments, you know, so it's... Oh, hit the road, eh? Achievements for driving. Wonderful. Achievements. Need something to be there when I find the alien wreck. No. Oh. You're not going to have it, are you? Well, fuck. My recommendation for Planet Nomads, don't build hovercraft. They're a bit shit. <laughs> You can steer like a dag. I don't think that works. Just very non hovercraft terrain. I'm just gonna have to give up or go for maximum speed. Does she work better in reverse, I wonder? No. Stand fans up on top. I don't think they'll work like that. It needs boosters, but there aren't any. It just needs more of a thingies, but screw it. You can stay there. I'm off on foot. Not sure we could count this as on foot, but I'm off. Oh, that's a bit flickery, isn't it? Ew. I'm not seeing a distress call. Stick some tiny wheels on it. <laughs> But the sphere isn't helpful to humans, mine cozy. Really, no one would have really, re no one would have expected. Okay, so the distress signal is just another one of these towers, isn't it? By the looks of things. Yeah. 
Yeah, it is. No. Really? Really? Do you have any idea how mad I'd be if I'd actually had to, like, build stuff to travel this far in survival mode in order to get here and find a wall? Is there liquid water in this game? Alright, we can end with that. Why not? Is there liquid water in this game? Damn right there is. Hey! Splush. Not only is there liquid water, but the swimming animation isn't too bad. What happens to yon liquid water when you get out yon multi-tool and start poking holes in the side? Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. The water keeps coming and it doesn't even look bad. I guess they've done this using a sea level, basically, but... Hey! Look at that! You can build yourself a little rock pool. Keep a crab in it or something. Okay, so there's a water table there. If we go away from the water a bit... Like over here, is there still a water table? In survival, you find logs from the survivors. Oh, okay, good to know, Mr. Oz. Once again, very helpful. Thank you, man. Yes, yes. Okay. So, so we have a water table, basically, and if you dig down to this depth, you just get sea levels of water. Still, I quite like that anyway. Take me down. Into the depths. Ooh, we can see through the world there. Come on, let's find a spot. Hey, there it is. Hello out there. All right, and there, I think you have your proof of what I was saying about being a water table. Everything below a certain height just produces water. Well, there's resources down here and stuff. Who would have thought? I quite like that water effect, actually. A little bit of a gloom, not too invasive. The lighting's quite nice. The dapple lighting effect on the side here. That's pretty good. The stick in your face through the walls, not so much, but hey. Really don't like that effect on your screen when you come out of the water, either. I'm not a window. Sorry, has, any has anyone ever got out of water? And gone. Oh, my my window seems to need a wipe. <laughs> I suppose I've probably got a helmet on, haven't I? Yeah, I do. Well, fine then. I don't know why I've got a helmet on. Take it off, you fool. Well, there we go. I think this is a perfect place to end it. The sort of going and looking at survival, I think we've seen a lot of the new stuff that's been added. I will most definitely go and mess around and try and make some proper, like, cool contraptions now I've spent some spent some time looking at this sort of thing. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure to have all you guys join me, of course. If you're watching the video live, if you're watching me live right now, please hit the like button. Come on, guys. Hit me up. Uh, if you're watching it in the future, then hey, have the robots taken over yet? If they have, hit me a like. If they haven't, um, yeah, I didn't think that one through, actually. <laughs> anyway, cheers, guys. This has been a little look at Planet Nomads in early access, also on sale at the moment. Thanks a lot for joining me. And I will catch you at some point for the next one. Uh, that may even be later on this evening, depending on plans, because there is some word of a Dustin's and three window stream in the chat. We will see. Cheers, folks. That's very, very nice timing that my old intro sound song came on right then as well. But yeah, I may see you a bit later. Cheers, folks. Thanks a lot for joining me.